So kind of to continue a little bit with the trade routes of Nagas and Boots and what have you in North Eastern India through Burma into China. Um, this is the Shabu Shabu Jalokia over here that is uh, from Western China. And then if we go a little bit further west, this is the Burmese Naga that was found in uh, a market in Mandalay in the centre of Burma by Grant Hustler. This one's grown by John Ford. This is the Naga Raja that I also did from Nagaland. And then the state next to Nagaland is Assam. And this is a uh, boot jalokia from Assam uh, that I just picked off one of my plants this morning. So we have the progression going east from Assam to Nagaland to Burma and to China, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> So this is the Burmese Naga that I got from John Ford. Uh, thanks a lot, John. And it's a little blockier, um, slightly different shape, and it's a bit shinier than the other ones too. And that's what it looks like inside. It is very, very uh, distinctive. It smells very much like a naga. It smells very similarly to the other ones. There's a little bit of oil on the placenta in a few places. All the, all the little shiny little spots that are shiny over here are all little oil deposits. And then on the other side you can see there's a few but not many, but there are a few little shiny spots there too. Now this one smells, although it smells very much like a naga, it smells, um, it is distinctive from the others in terms of smell. Um, it smells very fruity. Um, there's a, a richness to the smell that you don't really quite get in the other, the other varieties. But it has a very distinctive Naga smell as well. Hi, Nigel Cart here again. And today we have, as you've seen from the preamble, another in our series of walking our way east from Assam through, um, through Burma to China. And today we're in Burma, the center of Burma, Mandalay. This is Burmese Naga. good sized pod. And uh, while it does smell uh, very much of a naga, there's, there's a, a fruitiness and a richness to it that uh, a little bit missing in the other pods. And there's also something of a sort of a coppery, metallic-y kind of smell to it as well. So, Burmese naga, found by Gran Hostler in Mandalay. And this one was grown by John Ford in Oregon. So, thanks John. And thanks, Grant, for bringing this uh, this great thing to everybody's attention. Burmese Naga. Cheers. Oh, it's immediately really hot. Very fruity. A little sweet. Mm, a little. Very... Very much Naga flavour. <coughs> well, it's hot. Slight bitterness to it as well. More than a, more than slight, actually. It's 
start to get a bit bitter, <coughs> the more I taste it, but that's hot. <coughs> John warned me that these were hot, and he's not wrong. <coughs> oh, it's a very, very nasty burn. Aggressive, spiky, and pins and needles everywhere. It's gone up into my sinuses. <laughs> Making me want to sneeze. And that's that's a very hot pepper. That's the hottest naga I've ever had. It's hotter than the Dorset naga. And it's still coming on strong. It's all tongue burn, tongue and mouth burn. Yeah, as I say, that's that's a nasty and aggressive burn. Oh. It's very hot and it's, it's really killing my mouth. It's painful too. It's quite a bit in the back of my throat now. <coughs> yeah, that's warm. Give me sweat. Yeah, it's a very painful burn, it really is. It's a very mad balls like in the way it burns actually. <clears throat> so it's it's really got rid of all the flavour. Um, it's really hot and, and nasty and my tongue is burning like hell. And prickling as well. Back of my throat has a big hot coal in it. That's also prickling. And there's a big swath of heat straight down on my esophagus and feel it into my stomach. Oh, that really, really hurts. <coughs> yeah, I'm starting to get an endorphin rush already. Start to hit me in the hands and, and feet. <clears throat> and it's just about leveled off, I think. It's very, very hot. And really, really prickly, nasty, aggressive burn. That's just flat out nasty. <laughs> Hard to talk actually through that. <clears throat> While it's peaked, it's not really going anywhere. <clears throat> it's just making me suffer. Just in a lot of pain. The tongue, back of my tongue and back of my throat, really, really sore. It's making me cry. Sweat a lot. And I'm drooling quite a bit as well. Not as much as with some others, but enough that every time I swallow I get a big increase in the amount of pain that there is along my throat. <clears throat> Just sort of down my esophagus a bit. It's actually making my chest hot all across my chest. It feels like it's uh, it's not hot, but really, really warm. Oh. 
and it's just starting to, to slightly slack off. That's hot, but it's just really, really miserable and nasty. It's a very, very peculiar burn. It's much more pain than heat. From the word go, it was painful. Very hot, but more painful than hot. So it's starting to go down a bit now. It's actually really burning like crazy all the way down my esophagus. It's burning like hell. And I'm really getting a big endorphin rush on that one. I'm really shaky. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Well, you're not wrong, John. John told me that's one of the hottest uh, pods he's grown this year, the Burmese Naga. And I can see how you would feel that way. That's just flat out nasty. A pretty big endorphin rush. Well, I'm repeating myself now. I feel so lightheaded. So it's really starting to go down quickly now, thankfully. Yeah, it's definitely going down. Still hurts when I swallow in the back of my throat though. And I get the distinct impression this is going to be a really bad gut bomb. Nagas, doesn't matter how hot they are, Nagas just ruin my stomach. And. Uh, I fully expect that to do the same. <clears throat> Still no sense of taste. None whatsoever. Just fried all my taste buds. Oh god, I'm lightheaded now. Very, very shaky. Okay, I'm just starting to get the flavour back now. And it's uh, it's like naga, naga flavour, but it's plasticky. Feels it's a strange, a strange aftertaste. When you realise it's very naga like, but a sort of plasticky. Um, like you've left water in a plastic bottle for a long, long time and then drunk some of it. A bit of bitterness. Still frying me though, that's still giving me a good time. <laughs> wow, okay, well. That's the Burmese Naga. That's a, a lethal thing, that is. Who knew they had such hot peppers in Burma? Okay, well this is Nigel Carter saying thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to have to go and sit down and suffer a little bit. And uh, I'll let you know how it works with my stomach. So, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.